Hey, it's me, Jet, and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing a VR accessory which is terrible. Let's just get right into it. This right here is the Sheoa Professional VR Shooting Bracket Game Stable Shooting Controller Holder for the Oculus Rift S Oculus Quest. I bought this piece of useless junk for $85.99. The only reason I can remember that so clearly is because I looked up how much I spent on it when I went for the return and refund request. See, in theory, this thing is a good idea. In theory. But here are the issues I have with it. One, the box it shipped in really sucks. I'm surprised it made it here in one piece, given the overall build quality and the fact that it's literally just plastic and carbon fiber smashed together. Two, just by looking at this thing, you can tell it's 3D printed with some carbon fiber tubing in it. I cannot imagine it's $86 for this much filament. It costs $26.90 for one kilogram of filament. This thing overall only weighs 190 grams or 0.89 kilograms. Keep in mind, this thing is like 80% carbon fiber. So overall, this thing probably only costs like $5 in material costs. I doubt the electricity bills or the man hours add an extra $81. So carbon fiber tubes must be really expensive. I checked. It probably wouldn't be more than $2 per device. Three, the way it comes in the packaging is incredibly loose. They give you keys to tighten up the parts that matter, but it shouldn't come like that. It's silly and really leads me to my next point. 4. The thing isn't flimsy by any means, but overall I do feel like it if I put some actual pressure on it or smacked it against a wall, it would snap in half and or break one of the parts that you need to hold the controllers. See, I'm not the only person who thinks that it's weak, by the way, because they put a broken controller holder in the marketing material and, just in case, gave you a spare two for when you almost definitely break it. Five, this thing slides all over the place. I understand I can tighten it up, but that defeats the purpose of this thing. It's supposed to be easily attached to my controllers and make it so I can switch between two-handed weapons for extra accuracy and one-handed weapons with complete ease. You are not going to be able to do this with this thing. It's just not going to happen. Here's the problem. This thing also slides around constantly. The shoulder rest constantly moves and the controller holders will flip upside down with even the smallest knock. And I can imagine if I tightened up just a little bit, they would almost definitely snap. 6. You can't use your controller protectors in this device, and the funny part is, they don't sit snug in there at all. If you tip it upside down, your controllers will drop, and I imagine in a pretty intense session of VR, you're going to throw one of your controllers at the wall and break them. Last point, no matter which way you orientate the holders, your hands are at a terrible angle. In other words, even if this thing works, while staying active, you're going to get carpal tunnel syndrome. That is all. I'm getting a refund. Don't buy this thing. It's not worth $85.99. It's not even worth $25. I personally wouldn't even let someone pay me to use this. That's how terrible it is. I don't do these often, but I do hope you enjoy me making fun of a terrible product. If you did, like the video if you liked it, dislike the video if you disliked it. Subscribe and hit the bell and join Jettos and Jesters today. Subscribe to my Patreon to support me in a giant way, but as usual, make sure all of you have a good rest of your day.